Guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's Monday the 30th of April. It's week four of 13.5. And I am once again on the turbo wearing very little, for which I apologize. Um, idea for tonight is just a very simple 30 minute workout. I'm not gonna do too much. Um, I have the OMM half marathon on Saturday. It's more about turning my legs over, um, doing the number of sessions but not necessarily with the intensity of uh, last week or maybe next week. So, I'm going to crack on and I'll check back in later on. Okay, that's the end of the workout. Within 30 minutes, 11.2 uh, miles, virtual miles. Uh, it was tough. You can see I'm sweating, it's running off me, so good workout, probably not as easy as I was expecting it to be, but that's just me, I can't really just go steady. So that's it for Monday, I will see you tomorrow. Good evening guys, it's Wednesday, I'm once again in the Shed of Doom for another Zwift session as you can see, and tonight I have a new addition to my setup, which is a fan. Most people who have uh, spent any time at all on a turbo trainer or a cyclo, will know that if you cycle inside, you get very hot. Um, a lot of people use use fans to keep them cool when they're exercising. Um, I haven't been doing so, hence the amount of sweat that I've tended to produce in previous weeks. Um, I, put a, I put a fan in here tonight. It's getting warmer outside. And I've got a fairly long session planned. I didn't run yesterday, so today is Wednesday. I missed Tuesday's run. Um, I had a nightmare day at work and then got home and there was loads of stuff on. I hadn't run in the morning, so I, I missed a session. Not too fast, I had a migraine, so um, I hadn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't a day for a run. So, I'm not too fast, I've got the half marathon in only a few days now. Um, I'm gonna have a long session tonight, I'm gonna go for a run tomorrow, and then um, that'll be it for the week, I think. Right, anyway, this ride isn't gonna get itself done and it's getting later, so I'm gonna jump on the bike. Um, Sherlock Holmes used to say that a difficult problem was a two-pipe problem. This is a a three-bottle three workout, so I'm going to be on the bike for a little bit of time. I need to make sure I'm hydrated. Um, I do tend to suffer headaches if I sweat a lot, but, uh, so lots of fluids on tonight, plus the fan. Hopefully I'll be alright. I'll check back in at the end of the workout. I'll see you soon. Okay, just finished the workout. Cut the points really out. It was, it was a good workout. I felt really strong tonight. I'm not sure whether it was the course I did, which was fairly flat, or whether it's just that I'm gaining fitness and I haven't realised, but I felt pretty strong um, right through. I've, I've done 40 miles tonight, um, spent about two hours on the bike. Um, the fan has made a massive difference. It really has. Um, so much cooler. I've only just started sweating now really because I've stopped um, and I've turned the fan off but it's made a massive difference to comfort and it's going to be something that I'm going to have to use um, from now on I think because it's just it's just so much more comfortable. I think I'm able to perform better because I'm not overheating. So that's Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. Plan for tomorrow is a run, a short run at work and kettlebells in the evening. So I will see you then. Okay, it's Thursday evening. I just got home from work. Um, I felt really rough when I went for that run this morning. I felt very shaky. Um, I didn't want to go, as I said. I really, I really didn't want to go, and I'm really glad I did because I got back absolutely famished. It was a 4.6 mile run, and it was only a little bit slower than my best previous time. So I'm kind of, I'm obviously gaining gain in fitness. Um, the train is starting to pay off, um, which I'm pleased about. Um, I had lunch, I had a pretty pretty good lunch and I felt really good after that. And I had a massive runner's high. I felt really kind of, uh, really chilled out and, and kind of happy. It was really quite strange really. Um, so it's uh, about an hour until cattle bows. Um, I'm not gonna do any more filming today. Um, on the drive home, I, I've got about an hour's commute. I think I've mentioned that before each way, and uh, my left calf has really kind of started hurting tonight. So I'm going to spend some time with my little friend and, uh, and and roll my legs out. I think I need it. I've not I've not really I've been stretching, but I've not really been kind of rolling this week. So I'm going to do some rolling, get myself ready for kettlebells, and 
The next time I see you will be Friday evening, hopefully. Um, my intention is I'm going to go out to the um, half marathon sign on tomorrow and uh, and sign on ready for Saturday so I don't have to worry about that. Um, right, on with the rolling. Welcome to a gloriously sunny Thursday. I'm uh, doing a normal loop out from work, lunchtime run, and I have to be honest, I really didn't want to come out today. Uh, I feel really tired, really shaky. I'm probably a bit dehydrated as well. So, uh, given my previous video on excuses and regrets, I did the kind of mental math and thought, well, it's half an hour and then it'll be over and I can go and eat my, eat my lunch and recover ready for tonight. Or I can sit it out and kind of feel guilty about that mix that missed workout. So my idea was I'd set off and just kind of take it steady. Uh, my watch has just beeped. Uh, first mile in 7.20, so I'm not, I don't know, it's not a bad pace, I guess. Um, I don't seem to be able to run slowly. <laughs> I just seem to tap along at what feels comfortable and it usually ends up being quicker than I was hoping for. Anyway, I'm talking too much. This is going to be about a four and a bit mile run. Uh, that and then kettlebells tonight and I'm going to take tomorrow off uh, ready for the half marathon on uh, on Friday uh, on Saturday right I'll see you later what's up guys it's Friday night um, tomorrow is the half marathon I have signed on I've got my band um, I'm feeling really rough. Um, I've got a really, really sore calf. So I went to kettlebells last night and the session was very, very difficult. I've ached really badly all day. My calf is sore and my right butt cheek is very sore as well. Um, I've done some really like, kind of intensive rolling tonight. I've done lots of stretching. I'm hoping that that's going to sort it out ready for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's not a race I'm targeting, so I'm not too fussed, but um, it's going to make it a bit more difficult than it needs to. So I'm going to go for a bath, have a bit of a soak, see if that helps me, and I'll see you tomorrow at the start. Good morning all, it's Saturday, and this is the day of the OMM half marathon, or OMM event in the Forest of Dean. It is an absolutely stunning day, it's so nice. It's uh, 20 degrees and about 9.30 in the morning. So, um, the race kicks off at 10.30 and there is a pre-race briefing at 10.15 so I'm just just chilling out, just soaking up the sun which is, uh, has been very uh, very unusual here in the UK for this year. Uh, this is uh, obviously my, my training week so I want to give a rundown of the last couple of days. I, I did some filming yesterday, I'm not sure I'm going to use it because of the audio quality but um, Thursday I went for the run as I said and I had an awful lot of uh, uh, it, it was a tough run. There's no, there's no doubt about that. I really struggled. Um, I was very weak. Uh, I didn't really want to do it. I did it, and I felt great for doing it. Um, I then had kettlebells in the afternoon, and when I got home from kettlebells, I was completely nearly spent. It was the toughest session I've had. Um, I just ached, and I've got a really, really sore calf. My calf is very painful. Um, I've been remiss in my stretching. I've not done as much stretch as I should have done, I don't think. Um, and I've got a bit of a knot in there, so I need that kind of, I need that worked out. I've done a lot of rolling and a lot of stretching. Um, and I've had a really long soak in the bath yesterday. Um, I'm hoping that's gonna ease it. This is a training run for me. I'm not, I'm not targeting this event for any specific time. I just wanna get around and use it for my mileage for the week. Um, but I'm a bit disappointed that I'm kind of I'm suffering with my calf. I've, it's, it's an issue I've had previously and I've had a lot of work massaging on it. So I need to get back to the stretching and the roller. And I, sp I spent, I'd say, a long time stretching last night. That's the end of it. The run's gonna happen. It's gonna be 13.1 regardless of whether I uh, moan or no. Pain is, pain is guaranteed, suffering is optional as they say. Um, so 45 minutes till the race kicks off. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just, chill out now get some water make sure my hydration is okay and i will see you afterwards
guys, it's the 6th of May and it's my wash up video for the um, for the week of training for my 13.5 series. I've had a good week, I've had a tough week, but a good week. Um, I've been consistent with my training again. Um, I ran Thursday, I really didn't want to. Thursday was my toughest run. Um, I felt kind of tired and shaky, as I said at the time. Um, and I went out and did my, my normal four, 0.6 mile loop at work and I ran really well actually I felt felt so much better for it and I came I came back and I had the most amazing runner's contentment I just felt really serene and chilled it was great um, unfortunately it didn't last into kettlebells because I went to kettlebells that evening and uh, I really struggled I died I died on my I died a thousand deaths on Thursday night at kettlebells um, that was the kind of low light of the or the, the, the low point of the week but the week's been really good. Um, I've done 51 miles on the bike again this week. So Monday I did a 10 miler, 11 miler, sorry. And then on Wednesday I did 40 miles. And I've done 17 and a half miles running. So I've done the half marathon yesterday, which I'll link um, in the description below to the OMM marathon wash up video. Uh, and I did my 4.6 mile run on, um, on Thursday. I've also done a session of kettlebells, so another pretty consistent week of training. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty strong. Um, I was running yesterday in the half, and it was it was it was hot. It was it was a tough day, but I felt good. I felt I felt good for it. Um, I felt strong. My legs feel strong. My lungs feel good. I can definitely feel the benefits are starting to to emerge from the training that I'm doing. Um, I'm taking today off. Um, my legs are pretty sore and I've got some blisters. I don't really want to do anything today. So I'm going to have a day off today and then get back to it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's a bank holiday in the UK, so I'll probably just do a, a short short run, a short ride, sorry, a short run. Um, the plan for next week is I'm going to have a big run, on, big ride on Sunday. So very long run this weekend and next weekend. Hopefully I'll put a, a long ride in on the bike. But that's a story for a different video. Um, so that's all there is to say i hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed the video i just want to say thank you again for all the comments all the support um all the likes that i'm getting really really appreciate it i'm hoping to grow the channel so please consider subscribing if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you next week cheers guys